Princess Rosavilda, that was most reckless of you. No, I'm fine. My wizardry can easily deal with this. Princess! My body is numb and I can't... I can't move my arm. I can't use wizardry like this. Was it that attack just now? It looks like that sentinel was poisonous. Luckily, it doesn't seem to be a fast-acting poison, so maybe... Hmm. Antidotes don't seem to be working. As a mare, perhaps Celestine will be able to treat it. All right, then. I will go on ahead to the village and fetch Celestine. That should be the fastest way. Rue, I'm counting on you. Let's do that, then. I'll stay with the princess. Right. Look after Princess Rosafilda. As I watched Rue grow smaller in the distance, anger towards Zephy boiled up inside me for some reason. I feel terrible about what happened to those villagers. I really do. <sighs> that sentinel was probably made from someone in the village. I'm sorry, Juto. If we had retaken the island sooner, maybe those villagers would still be alive. <clears throat> you aren't hurt, are you? <clears throat> Juto? Why... why do you take such huge risks? Huh? Seriously, why do you have to push your luck like this? Uh... Please. Start worrying about yourself more than other people. Why do you try to shoulder everything yourself? Princesses are too good to share the burden? Uh, I'm sorry. Don't apologize! Don't! I'm the one who should be apologizing, right? It's my fault you got hurt! It's my fault! You're always worrying about other people. Do you think your hard work pays off? Look at what happens! Seriously, how stupid can you get? <laughs> Why are you laughing? <laughs> I'm sorry. I know this is no time to be laughing. <laughs> this is the first time anyone but Rue has gotten this mad at me. Plus, the way you talk to me changed all of a sudden. Oh, um, I didn't mean to... My apologies, Princess. No, please stop all that. It doesn't suit you. I want you to treat me informally, if you really care about me. But... Argo and Crocelle treat me informally, too. It's not because they're rude or disrespectful. It's a sign of their trust. They said that they want to relieve some of the pressure I'm under as Princess. How can I put this? If I had the choice, I wouldn't want to be born as a princess. But I can't set it down or walk away from it. If I gave up here, even more lives would be lost. If that happened, I would regret it for the rest of my life. So please, I want you to try to understand the position I'm in. Besides, you've saved me dozens of times. Isn't helping each other what friends are for? <sighs> Your body. Can you move? <laughs> it's still a little numb. In that case... Um... Zephy. Huh? I'll carry you. What? You can't walk, right? Don't be such a baby. Uh, but... but I... Uh... This is no time for embarrassment. Right. When I saw Zephy from behind as she took the hit from me, I realized something. I realized that I wanted to protect her. It's so 
so lovely. It's strange that I never saw this in all the time I was here before. They're fireflies, and they don't usually stand out. I guess there's a time when they light up. Looks like that time is right now. So anyway, Sefi? Huh? I... I've made up my mind. I'm gonna go with all of you. But why? It came to me when I saw what had been done to all those villagers. That I can't forgive the Northern forces for creating Sentinels. So I... I want to try to persuade Melissa. Are you sure? I don't think it will be that easy. Yeah, but I'm gonna try. There might be even more trying times ahead. I, I don't want you to put yourself at risk, Juto. Don't worry. I'll be ready for the worst case scenario. I'll be ready to lift my sword against Melissa. <sighs> I never thanked you properly for what you did back there. Thanks for taking the hit for me. But in the end, I only caused more trouble for you. I'm not... I just wish... I wish you'd think of yourself a little more, Zephy. Juto... I understand there are responsibilities that you have to bear as a princess. But I... I want you to think of yourself. To live for yourself. I do. I do think of myself. That's a lie. You always put yourself second, right? Rely on me to do a little. Rely? Yeah. Until the war ends and you can go back to where you belong. Until that day, I'll fight at your side. <sighs> but, if you do manage to persuade Melissa, I don't want you to think twice. Your fight ends right then and there, all right? Juto, there's no need for you to take to the battlefield prepared to die. I won't die, no matter what. The directive of counter-sentinel unit soldiers is, absolutely don't die, remember? <laughs> You're such a dope, Juto. I'm no such thing. I gave it a lot of thought, and that's the conclusion I reached. That's why you're a fool. That's the conclusion you reached after carefully thinking things over? <laughs> uh. In the faint light of the fireflies, the caverns were a magical sight. Maybe that pale light looked even more beautiful when it was lit up by the glow from Zephy's smiling face. should work on this. I'll start treating you right away. Thank you, Celestine. The numbness seems to be gone. I'm still feeling pretty weak, though. So that sentinel just came at you out of nowhere? I'm surprised. What's going on around here? It's because the Northern forces were taking villagers into the caverns to create sentinels. Those cowardly bastards! They're not just using Trewa, but unresisting humans as well? I'm going to find out who is behind these disgusting, horrible acts. Only someone capable of performing the Blood Pact can create a Sentinel. You know, the old man of the village might know something. <laughs> And everybody's back. Welcome back to Let's Play Magna Carta 2. That annoying battle is uh, finally over. And I'm going to get it out of the way. And I know it was probably said in the comments. I haven't read the comments yet because I still haven't done, like, stopped recording or anything. But why didn't Rue do that in the first place? When the battle started, why didn't Rue do it? That huge freaking attack. And for the record, yes, she can learn that attack. That is one of her later, later, later skills. I think that's her top skill. 
Uh, anyways, uh, Judo, uh, you're always saving me, aren't you, Judo? Um, heart hasn't felt this light in a long time. While we were talking, I even managed to forget I'm a princess. <laughs> I wonder if uh, such a tranquil time will ever come again. I suppose I must uh, let myself be so weak. From now on, I'll st uh, start giving serious thought of my, uh, to living for myself and relying on others. Things are a little complicated, uh, Argo. <laughs> Things seem a little complicated to me lately. War's a really cruel and sad thing. Uh, it wasn't a, on a whim that I decided to follow you, you guys, but there are times when I regret it. <laughs> it's not like me to worry so much. I, uh, I'll cheer up so Argo... You keep watching over me. Your Highness Resafildo. Oh, it's, yeah, of course, it's from Rue. Uh, been worried about you. Know, worried for the last several days that you might not be feeling well, but you seem to be all right now. I was relieved to see your smile. Please never give up hope and keep smiling. I will continue to assist you. Yada yada yada. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Um, mission wise, it looks like we probably could have handed in that mission after, but we got the experience from it. And uh, whoa, whoa, um. Uh, that's 234, and, uh, that's 166. They're both going to gain a level at the same time. Uh, skill-wise, point-wise, uh, holy crap, they're actually pretty damn close to each other. Hmm. Right, she used up a lot of points with those ones. Oh, god, um... Zephy finished her skill tree first in the first playthrough, so I'm going to give it to Judo. I'm going to give, give the extra uh, boosting to Judo. Because uh, we're going we're gonna to hand in that next mission. We're going to hand in the mission, and it's going to give up the... Uh, we're going to get two levels out of it. Celestine's also going to get a level, but she's got a lot of points on her already. Yeah. That boss fight was frickin' annoying. Miss Fortune Star, cool, got a new weapon for her, right. I come I forgot what we picked up. There was another there was a couple of other things too. Crap. I'll have to look at it later. I'll go look at it off screen, but uh, for now I'm gonna I know we're gonna be heading in this mission pretty soon, so I'm gonna enhance judo here and uh, we're gonna move on from there. I'll re I'll reassess everything we have afterwards. Just after we've calmed down with everything. Uh Oh, the Sword of Silence. I think we got that. I think that was one of the weapons we got. What else do we have here? Yeah, the Misfortune Star is our new weapon. Blast Axe he's had since uh, the boss fight with the other person. Uh, yeah, it looks like uh, it was just the... Uh, yeah, whatever. Whatever! Well, let's keep going. We had a lot of story. We need to keep going. Keep on going. Whew, Highwind Island. Uh, that boss fight was really, really, really annoying. I'm not gonna lie, that, that boss fight pissed me off. I was raging a little bit. And holding back a lot of swears. <laughs> ah, oh well. Yeah, we, we could have just talked to him there. Yeah, we didn't have to go back to hand it in. Oh, well. Whatever. Extra boost of experience was good. Give me my experience, old man. Level up. 21 points. 9 points. 9 points. We're back, Gramps. Oh, well done. I must apologize. If only we had retaken the island sooner, these horrible things would not have... We can only pray that such things never happen again. Old man, there is something that I want to ask you. What is it? Who was it that took the islanders into the caverns? It was Elgar, and the other person called himself Huren. What? Elgar? He came back to the island? That's right. He came every once in a while during the occupation. Oh, what a horrible man. The abominable things he did. I see. Elgar. Damn it! The next time we meet, I'll show him no mercy! Don't try it, Juto. That man's strength isn't normal. You mustn't try to take him on! After all the horrible things he did to you? 
You're telling me just to leave him alone? Please, please have mercy! Why are you taking our villagers into the caverns? What are you doing to them? Please! At any rate, I'm only using those of no value. You should be grateful. Uh, what have we done to deserve this? Why would you do such a thing? Your people have done nothing wrong. I have but one simple goal. To thoroughly crush anywhere in the world he might call home. What do you mean? What are you saying? <laughs> <laughs> it's time for some fun experiments. But Juto, I just don't want you to put yourself in danger. Gramps. W will you stay here on the island? I mean, you're coming back when Melissa's injuries are healed, aren't you? And don't worry, you can live here just like you did before. About that. Melissa is... she's still in bad shape. It looks like it'll take a while. But as soon as Melissa is better, I'll come back to the island. You will? I see. In that case, Elgar is dangerous, so you stay away from him, got it? Yeah, I understand. I lied to Gramps. I had to. I'd persuade Melissa and bring her back with me. Until then, I couldn't come back to the island. With that resolve held fast in my heart, I returned once again to Albazet. <gasps> Disc 1 ended. Episode ending. Disc 2 starts next time. See ya.